Hello. Applying to Oxford can be daunting and the application form itself is very long and complicated. In this video, I hope to help you craft your application with the assessors in mind. I've asked a number of assessors in the doctoral training centre what they look for in an application and I hope you find the answers helpful. It's very important to make your application fit the programme that you're applying to. Don't just reuse an application you've made to a departmental DPhil programme. Make it absolutely clear why you're applying to this programme. What is it about the programme itself that appeals to you? What skills or attitudes do you have that would complement the scope and ethos of the programme or project that you're applying to? We'd like to know why this particular programme interests you. How does it fit with your ambitions and why are you the right candidate for this programme or project? What are your research interests and how do these match with the programme or project? And referees letters are always considered closely, so make sure you pick referees that will spend some time crafting a letter that describes your attributes in some detail. If applying to a DTC programme where we're anonymising applications, please ask them to anonymise the references by removing references to gender as well as your identity, as this will save admin staff a lot of time. So what makes a candidate stand out? Of course, the most obvious thing is your academic record. All programmes within the DTC are highly competitive and offers will go to candidates who have the strongest academic records. This is not the only thing that counts. We look for students with a strong passion for science and enthusiasm about their subject. Being interdisciplinary, we especially value students who are interested in working across boundaries and reaching out to other subjects for inspiration and collaboration. Give examples in your application of where you have shown initiative and creativity in your work. Be true to yourself. Don't try to oversell yourself. This can be very obvious to assessors. Be honest especially where you may have had setbacks, and be proud you've overcome adversity. Awards, such as prizes from your university or grants you've applied for and won, and also publications, are a tangible way of showing you've achieved, so include them if you have them. Not everyone has the opportunity to carry out research placements or internships during the summer months, Many students need to work to support themselves or have caring responsibilities. Continuing with your studies while also carrying out such work is just as much evidence of motivation as spending the summer in a lab. Don't be shy about including such work. It does you credit. Applications submitted with careless mistakes such as repeated paragraphs, numerous spelling mistakes or information in the wrong fields will not be taken as seriously as those that have been carefully proofread. Use a spell checker and ask friends to proofread for you. A second pair of eyes can be invaluable. Don't be vague about your motivation for applying. Why do you want to do a PhD? And why do you want to join the training programme you're applying for? Show you've researched the programme or project. Make sure you include any and all relevant skills you have this could be programming, cloud identification, lab techniques, scuba diving, mathematical skills, drone flying, languages. If it could be relevant to your research, include it. Don't include irrelevant skills. Although playing a musical instrument could go on your CV, it does indicate an ability to stick at a sometimes tedious task over years, and that is relevant to a PhD. As already mentioned, if you submit an application that has obviously been submitted elsewhere, it may not be seriously considered, as many candidates will have taken the trouble to construct a carefully targeted application. Transcripts are looked at very closely. The main things assessors want to see are which courses were scored most highly and are these the ones of most relevance to the programme? Has the candidate been a consistently high achiever or are they on an upward trajectory? 
This is important for many students who may have faced personal or financial difficulty during their education, but have then found their feet during their undergraduate degree. The contextual statement is looked at very closely. Alongside transcripts, this can help to identify students who've achieved highly while suffering significant disadvantages in one form or another. Where a candidate appears borderline, the contextual statement can secure an interview. Include all relevant information that helps your case. The programmes of the Doctoral Training Centre are the NERC DTP in Environmental Research, the BBSRC DTP in Interdisciplinary Bioscience, the EPSRC Sustainable Approaches in Biomedical Science, and the Wellcome Trust Chemistry and Cells programmes. For more information about any of the programmes of the Doctoral Training Centre, please follow the links below. And good luck with your application.